Hey guys, I'm Wench Fairy and welcome back to Valhalla Cyberpunk Bartending Action. We are back from Jill's smoke break on day five. Apparently she's a little cold. Let's pick some songs. Where did I stop? A gaze that invites. Where is that? So here, 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 here. Here, 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 here. And all the way to the end again. See, this way, it's not always the same because I'm unlocking new songs as we go along. There. Well, that's right, Alma came out for her smoke with us. Although, I don't know if she smokes or not. There's apparently the hobo in the back alley. Billy Vine. Okay, got into legal trouble, now he's a hobo. He could also just be a very nice crackhead, though. Oh, so chill. One of Alma's cousins lives by a ho like a hobo. Um. Oh. So his family couldn't can't afford to help them him and wanted to help him, but he's too proud to accept their help, which I can I kind of understand. But when the alternative is living on the street. Oh. He got evicted from his house due to debt. That sucks. <laughs> and he doesn't take meds. Oh. Hello, Dorothy. Yeah. We weren't getting into anything, Dorothy. Don't worry. <laughs> Something soft, something sweet, no alcohol. <laughs> Dorothy wants something sweet and alcohol free. Let is lets us indulge her. Well Sugar Rush looks like what we're gonna do, but I'm gonna look. Oh, that's sweet and soft. She said soft specifically. Maybe a blue fairy will do us then. Moonless. That's got actual carpentry, not optional carpentry. No. We'll just look at the last sweet one just to be sure. No, okay. Let's make sure that was. Okay, let's do this one. Four Adelhide. Four. And a flanner guide. Age, mix, stop. Blue Fairy, here you go, Dorothy. Who's Lawrence? Who's, is he a vending machine? Oh, okay. That makes sense then. Have they never met? Oh, all my and Dorothy have never met. Alma's heard about her before, huh? Pluckiness? <laughs> yeah. I take pride in my job or I wouldn't be doing it. I guess that's true. You're a, l You're a Lilum, you could kind of do anything. Alma, you don't like when people call you a hacker. <laughs> so you start diving really fast while waiting for something to happen. Almost not a movie hacker, Dorothy. She's a real hacker. I can explain, but you might won't understand. Well, you won't know until we try. I hope she doesn't understand. Actually, I hope she does understand. Last time I said that, I had to jam the plastic replica of a halogen light bulb up a grown man's. Yikes. 
It was a success! <laughs> okay, she's gonna explain how it works. Let's say I have to retrieve information from a company's database. Alright. First, I do some research on the target. Operating systems, servers, how the information is stored and all that. There have been a couple of occasions where I had to go in blind, but they're the exception rather than the rule. First, I secure things from my side. I start working behind proxies, websites, and through other more vulnerable, vulnerable, the word's hard to say, computers I find on the way. Uh-huh. After that, I start testing the networks. I go through the basic protocols, try known exploits as long as they don't trigger any alarm. Once I've tested the ground, the fun starts. I go through all the security protocols and look to bypass them. Okay, it makes sense. Pulls the codes from the password. Dorothy's stuttering a little. And I'm finally in. I go and retrieve user privileges. After that, I go and try to become a super... Okay, so she gets in, makes herself basically a user on the system so she can get whatever she wants. How do you do that? A couple of ways. I can use a pre-made program to hack into an already existing account. I use info someone already gave me. But the usual way is using a buffer overflow. Uh... What is going on with Dorothy here? Create a backdoor in the system before leaving and covering my tracks. Uh, oh, for Pete's sake, Dorothy. <laughs> oh, God. What was even going on? I'm kind of like that for you. You were all red and shaking and stuff, Dorothy. Kind of, I think, is a bit of an understatement. I guess that's true. I mean... If you're talking about all that stuff that Alma was just talking about, the context of Lilims, I guess it could be sexual. I mean, she is a robot lady. Ha! Huh. Horny Lilim are an unexploited market. <laughs> Gotta go, bye! Off they go. They're both leaving now. I wonder who's going to show up instead. Street seems noisy. If I remember correctly from last time, Say is still in that bank, as far as we know. Oh, a client. Hello, welcome to Valhalla. What can I get? Oh, what is, why does he have a question mark on his forehead? Truly an oasis of spiritual drinks in the midst of a suburban desert. Oh, for real? place where lost and corrupt souls can gather to forget their troubles for a while. A nest where everyone from the most pathetic scum to the vilest trash junkie can just sit to kill their insides. Truly a real persona non grata. That's Latin for mysterious place. No, it's not. <laughs> I'm so smart. Well, it's, it's not Latin for... Per it's not Latin for mysterious place. <laughs> we got ourselves a persona non grata here. What can I get you? Seventeen. Oh god, this guy. What? What the hell? Uh, I don't even know what to do. Maybe it's like, I need the number of ingredients. 
Might as well go through them all then. do here I don't really know what to do six nine ten five six six seven eleven twelve three six seven eight nine ten hmm So five and ten is fifteen. Oh, five and, yeah, five and ten is fifteen. I'm right. It's eighteen. Hmm. What does he mean by seventeen? Ten. Six. Eighteen. Right. Five, ten, twelve, fifteen, eighteen. Yes, yeah, okay, correct. Maybe I'll just give him drink at number seventeen. If nothing else works out. Okay, let's just give him drink number seventeen. Piano Man, two Adelheid, three Bronson Extract, five Powder Delta. Five Flannel Guide and three Carmatrine on the rocks fixed. He said 17 would only be related to drink if I thought it was, and I think it isn't. <laughs> yeah. Virgilio Armandio. Oh. Came here looking for an otherworldly experience. It is called Valhalla. It's VA11 Hall A, by the way. Like, yes, it's called Valhalla, but it's VA11 Hall A. <laughs> we have some arcade machines. Can this guy just go now? He's unsufferable. Um, if you want to see a bar in all of its decadent glory, I think you're in the wrong bar? Yeah. Humans are a nasty bunch. Uh, are you not human then? Yeah, once a lion takes over pride, every cub born from another lion is killed or something. <sighs> That's what a group of lions is called, man. Seven plus ten. I want this guy gone. Okay. <laughs> I want to murder this guy. He's like a single plum floating in perfume served in a man's hat. Sounds good. Here you are. Benefit of playing this game before. Here you are. That's what you want, that's what you get. Drink it. 
No, Jill, don't be nice. He has to drink it. Have I ever thought about death? I mean, yes. What if we're already dead? No, it doesn't matter. My afterlife is pretty boring. Don't care. <laughs> One of everything up to this point is just some stupid story written by an unemployed 20-something in his room. Devel developers, you need to be nicer to yourself. <laughs> I can punch you to make you feel reality. <laughs> yeah. It doesn't matter if we're living in a simulation because it's even if we're living in a simulation, this is all we know. So we might as well keep living in a simulation, make the best of what we got. Yep, this reality's real for me, and that's all that matters. How oh, is that a closed-minded way of seeing things? Habanera does not mean Twilight of the Gods. Bye. The explosions make me worry. Cars exploding. Fabulous. Oh, get away from the window, Chill. Lots of flashes in the distance, most likely gunshots. Oh. Oh, about five gigabytes worth of reports proving, proving that several white knight squads have been used to cover illegal actions were released in public by an unknown anarchist group. We're receiving reports of several units going rogue and using their weapons to hunt down anyone they find in the street. Oh boy. Several counter-terrorism forces from neighboring cities have been dispatched in order to subdue various units after a plea from the vice president. We're still waiting for a declaration. <laughs> Sorry, we're waiting for a declaration from Zaibatsu Corp CEO. That's who runs the White Knights, but until then. Okay, bad news. Yes, staying in the bar tonight. So Dana and Jill are staying in the bar tonight. Yeah, let's definitely hope everything gets solved by the morning because I don't want to live. San Canto? Oh. <laughs> There's nothing you can't badge. Four. I don't think you should be worried about your cat. Everything will be okay. Sleep tight. I did not get. What mistake did I make? Oh, the 17. Oh, whatever. I'm sad I didn't get the flawless service. Uh bonus. That makes me mad. He wanted 17. What is 17? 17 is nothing. Uh... Okay, well. <laughs> the second half of that shift went very quickly, but it's the best, really the best place to leave off because we don't know what's going to happen in the morning. We're spending the night at the bar. We might not be able to leave in the morning. Who knows? Um, so in the meantime, thank you very much for watching. My name is Wench Fairy. Please don't forget to click the like button and subscribe if you haven't already. This is Valhalla, cyberpunk bartending action. And we will see you next time. <laughs>